This is the Smoke Aroma BC71 pressure smoker. It's a floor model, uh, cooks under pressure using about one and a half ounces of wood chips. There's two heating elements in this unit. There is one that slides, uh, the, the charring cup slides onto, and that is enough to heat up the wood chips and fill the pot with the smoked aroma. There's also a heating element wrapped around this pot three times. When you cook product, those heating elements heat up in addition. There is a toggle on here for cold smoke. So if you wanted to cold smoke a product, say cheese, or put some steaks in here and cold smoke with mesquite, you would flip this to the cold smoke. You'd want to do this on the first pot of the day before the outer elements are hot. But you can put product on there, put the lid on, close it, smoke it for 30 minutes, an hour, however long you desire until you get the smoked flavor you like, take it off. If you put the product in at say 34 degrees, half hour later take it out, it's probably still at 40 degrees. So you can place it back in the refrigerator. We've had some uh, meat markets that take ribeyes and they put mesquite wood chips in there, put cold ribeyes in there, smoke it for a half hour, take them back out, put them in their uh, refrigerated display case, they charge additional for it and they market it as mesquite smoked ribeyes. Customer comes in and purchases it, takes it home, puts it on their Weber kettle, and now they can do uh, a mesquite smoked ribeye at home. This is the uh, smokestack. This is where the pressure releases. This is going to cook under about 12 to 14 PSI. And when it gets up to pressure after about 30 minutes, it releases pressure through here. This is the standard smokestack if you will, that comes with the barbecue boss. This is an option, it is a water baffle, and basically uh, the pressure before it emanates into the atmosphere gurgles through the water baffle and it reduces the amount of the smoked uh, aroma that's gonna be in the business. This unit does not require a hood, ventilation, or fire suppression. Local codes always prevail, but for the most part, uh, this unit does not require that. I refer to this unit as a pre-production unit. And by that, I mean you're gonna to wanna to cook on this between say 8 and 10.30 in the morning, 2 and 4.30 in the afternoon. This is not a unit when you get an order of ribs, you put it in here. You're gonna to wanna to cook ahead of time during slower periods of the day. And then when you get an order for ribs, that's when you reheat it, put it on the char broiler, flat griddle, oven, however you'd reconstitute it and bring the temperature back up. Here we have full. Well, here we have the uh, water pan that goes in the bottom and we're going to put, unscrew the spit off, we're going to put about uh, 12 ounces of water in the bottom and that moisture helps facilitate the uh, initial cooking so it won't dry out the product. We already have our charring cup in there with our hickory wood chips and today we're going to be doing uh, fresh eight piece cut chicken and ribs together basically set it right in the center you want to make sure the products not hanging over the edge of the uh, shelves where it makes contact with the wall it'll scorch or scald the product you take the lid from a safety standpoint, there are two areas where it has to lock, and then you put up the rest of the screws. You want to do it just like you would the bolts on your tire. You want to go around. You don't want to get a lot of pressure on one particular area. Okay. We want to make sure down here that this there is a. Uh, valve at the bottom to when you clean the pot to drain the water out we want to make sure that's closed we've got this to barbecue we do not want cold smoke we're going to cook this product on barbecue and we're going to cook this for right at an hour that's all we have to do for right now we'll come back in an hour 